Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore a fascinating topic from the world of aviation and military technology. Two legendary aircraft, the B-2 Spirit and the new B-21 Raider, both built by the United States, both incredibly stealthy and both designed to go deep into enemy territory. But what makes them different? Why did the US develop a new bomber when they already had a highly advanced one? Let's break this down with facts, logic, and a little bit of context. Let's start with design. Both aircraft follow the flying wing design which means no tail, no vertical stabilizers, just one smooth wing-like structure. This shape significantly reduces radar visibility. The B-2 Spirit which first flew in the late 1980s is quite large, with a wingspan of 172 feet. The B-21 Raider on the other hand, is slightly smaller, estimated around 140 to 150 feet in wingspan. Why smaller? Because a smaller bomber is harder to detect, more efficient to operate, and cheaper to maintain. And this is exactly the direction the US Air Force wants to go. More stealth, less cost. Next, payload and performance. The B-2 can carry up to 40,000 pounds of munitions, including both nuclear and conventional bombs. The B-21 is expected to carry slightly less, around 30,000 pounds. But here's the thing. Modern warfare is evolving. It's not just about brute force or massive payloads anymore. Precision, smart weapons, and electronic warfare are taking over. So a smaller payload when used smarter can still have devastating effects. Both aircraft fly at high subsonic speeds and at altitudes up to 50,000 feet. But the B-21 has been optimized for global strike missions with better endurance, more fuel efficiency, and potentially even unmanned capabilities in the future. Yes, it might even fly without a pilot. This is where things get really interesting. The B-21 uses a new generation of stealth technology. While the B-2 was revolutionary in its time, radar systems have advanced significantly in the last 30 years. The B-21 is designed to counter modern air defense systems, especially those from adversaries like China and Russia. It uses advanced radar-absorbing materials, infrared signature reduction, and something called open architecture design. This means the software and electronics inside the aircraft can be easily upgraded. New sensors, new jammers, new communication tools, all can be added without changing the core design. Think of it like having a PC where you can upgrade the graphics card or RAM anytime. One of the major criticisms of the B-2 Spirit was its cost. Each B-2 cost over $2 billion when adjusted for today's dollars, only 21 were built, and each one is a national asset. They are too precious to risk in high-threat environments. The B-21 aims to change this. It is projected to cost around $550 million per unit. Much cheaper. The U.S. plans to build at least 100, maybe more. This means they can be used more flexibly and in greater numbers. The entire production approach has been modernized. With a digital-first design philosophy, 3D modeling, and virtual testing before physical prototypes are built. Now, let's talk about what this means strategically. The B-21 Raider is not just a bomber, it's a strategic tool. It can penetrate enemy airspace, avoid detection, and deliver precision strikes from thousands of miles away. It's also expected to play a key role in nuclear deterrence, forming part of the U.S. quote SS nuclear triad, along with submarines and ICBMs. Moreover, with its potential for unmanned operations, the B-21 represents the future of autonomous or optionally manned warfare. The U.S. wants to stay ahead in this arms race, and the B-21 is a key player in that strategy. In conclusion, the B-2 Spirit was a technological marvel of its time, but warfare has changed. The B-21 Raider is leaner, smarter, more affordable, and better equipped to handle 21st century threats. It's not just a new plane, it's a complete rethink of how air power should work in a world of drones, satellites, and cyber warfare. If you enjoyed this breakdown, do give a like, share with your friends, and subscribe for more analytical content on global tech, military strategy, and aviation. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed.